All right, I wanted to do a comparison between the Manix 2 and the Griptilian 550-1. Uh, let's go right into it. This is the new Griptilian with G10 scales and the uh, new blade steel. Of CPM 20 CV. I got the spidey hole opener. It also comes in thumb stud. Um, it's got uh, aluminum standoffs and there's a partial steel liner in there. You can see it in there. It's got nice big bronze bushings you can see in there access lock with the omega springs pull the lock down it lets the the blade drop freely and when it's engaged it doesn't move so this uh this knife has been really nice um, closing the access lock is awesome for for closing it um, opening it doesn't it doesn't open as authoritative as the Manix maybe because my uh, short fingers but when it snaps open it doesn't doesn't snap open as uh, authoritative but it closes really easy and that's something I like uh, the other thing I like is the deep carry clip it comes with stock. Um, the, this G10 is kind of like slick, so it really goes in your pants. It slips in your pocket um, easy, really, really easy. The clip on the Manix is, is hard to um, get in and out because these G10 scales have a lot of grip on them. They're much more grippy than the, than the Griptilian. Um, this spring right here, right in there, is very strong, and it keeps a ball bearing, it keeps a ball bearing, um, engaged. Um, and so it's, uh, let's see if you can see the ball bearing in there. Yeah, the back of the blade, um runs on that ball bearing there it snaps into place so there it is you can kinda see it but um... this to disengage this is a lot harder than than it is your access lock this also has bronze bushings in there you can see them but the awesome thing about the Manix is it's it snaps open with authority. I mean, it is it you can hear it. Um, the the sound it makes when it snaps when it snaps into place is really nice. Um, I don't like this part of the knife down here. This little bitty part. It gives your pinky only a little place to, to rest on when you close the knife. And if you're closing it really hard, you could get your pinky. If you're not careful, you could get your pinky in there. So that's something I don't like about the Manix. Um, it's got a nice size lanyard hole. That's a tube that goes through the knife. Uh, a regular clip. I don't like this clip at all. It's okay, but I don't I don't like it as much as the um the griptilian clip. This is a better built knife in my opinion. It's stainless steel liners that are cut out making the making it lighter than the griptilian but stronger. So it has that going for it. It has um good steel S one ten V, very sharp. The grip, the grip of the Manix 
feels a lot better in your hand than the uh, than the griptilian. All the fingers have a spot there, and it's got good um, jimping on the back of the blade. And then you can come up on this finger choil if you need to do any detailed work. So that's got a lot going for it with the ergonomics. Opens great, closes a little bit tough. That's the only complaint. Um, this one doesn't open as good, but it closes. I love I love the the access lock is just so easy, and it's it just it just lets the knife operate so easy, and it doesn't it doesn't hurt your hands at all to um to mess with the access lock. This this will actually give you a little it'll wear out your thumb and and index finger if you keep doing it a lot. I like both the knives. I'm going to probably return one just because um, I don't have that kind of money to keep both of them. I just wanted to get my hands on both of them, so I ordered both. And I actually have a pair of military coming in too, so between the three of them, I'll be keeping one. But uh, I just want to, there's a couple videos out um, on comparing the the Griptilian 550-1 to the Minix 2, so I just wanted to add mine. Blade centering on mine was good. Um, it just has the tiniest bit of, you can feel, of blade play. Just the tiniest bit. The Minix is solid. Solid as a rock. So it's got this stainless steel part there that houses the the ball lock there. Some people have trimmed that spring down in there um, to make it easier to, to compress. So if I do keep this knife, um, I might be looking into do, doing that modification. So it, so it gives you the best of both worlds, the ease of closing of an access lock. And then the great opening, opening of that. Um, the spidey hole on this is really big. I can stick my whole finger in there. This one, not so much. So I think that contributes to the the good opening of the Manix too. Now, something I don't like. This takes up a lot in your pocket. It's very thick. This one is more has a better profile for for going in your pocket. So it's definitely it will be easier to carry in your pocket. They're about the same. They're about almost the exact same size. There, are, the blade on the um 550-1 is longer. It's got more cutting area. But it also doesn't have this um, finger choil there to jump up on. They're both comfortable. This, this has some jimping on the back blade too. But this jimping grips your thumb really good. They're both comfortable in your hand. Um, the contours of the the Manix make it a little more comfortable. Yeah, you can't really choke up on this one too much. You gotta keep your hand behind there. So, when my uh, paramilitary comes in, I'll do, a, I'll do another video. And then I'll have to pick pick one, or maybe, yeah, pick one or two, but I can't keep all three, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, that's, that's fun to close. It's harder to open, 
This opens awesome. But it's worse to close. Good opening, worse to close. Both good knives. So that concludes this, this review slash comparison.